Hey guys, and welcome to Cooking with Carlina. On today's episode, we're gonna switch things up a little bit and do a DIY project called Bella's Garden Pots. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. For the Bella Garden Pots, you will need ceramic pots, paint, paint brushes, stencil art, moss, twine, and a beautiful orchid. Okay, first, you're gonna take a regular ceramic pot, and you're gonna to wanna to get some outdoor paint. I am gonna go with pink and lime green. And you're gonna to wanna to put it down, because you're gonna to wanna, to, I'm gonna to try to do, hmm, what do I wanna do? Oh, I wanna do lime green around the edge here and then I'll do pink on the bottom. So with these coats, you're gonna to wanna to do probably three to get like that nice lime green color because remember the ceramic pot is, you know, a little bit of a darker color compared to these colors, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get three layers in. So let's get started, guys. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna do pink on the bottom. You wanna make sure you get like a nice brush that's wide and thick because you'll cover more surface, but then also your strokes are gonna be a lot smoother. Just gonna round the pot like this. This is so much fun to do with your mom, your husband, and your kids, and your friends. For And it's also make, gonna make a great summer gift, just what I'm making a March. Okay, so this is about one coat. And it dries pretty quickly, so you don't have to worry about it. Like nice and smooth brush coats. So remember, you're gonna to wanna to go over with two more coats of that color, but let me go ahead and get started on the green, so the green coat can be drying. Let me do the other two coats. And same with the lime green, you wanna do two coats on top of it as well. Okay, then. So you're gonna go with these colors, you're gonna to wanna to do two more coats of each of these colors. But I have already, to make this video a little bit faster, has started one. This is what I did before. So I have like a dark purple on the bottom and like a pink on the top. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this amazing stencil art to make it super cool. So you're gonna wanna take these stencils. They kind of stick to the ceramic pot, which makes it a lot easier to paint over. And just like line it up. Press down firmly so it sticks to the pot so your lines are super smooth. And then you're gonna wanna take your white paint. So I'm gonna put my white paint over here. You're gonna to wanna to go, go over it with a nice thin brush because I think it makes your lines a lot smoother. But make sure it sticks to your pot. I know like even with the color and everything, since you already painted over, it's a little bit hard to stick, but just keep pressing on it and it should stick, so don't worry. Okay, then you're gonna take your white paint, go over it, the stencil completely. You don't wanna see any purple when you're going over the stencil because that's where your design's gonna go. So when you go over the stencil like this, make sure you get all purple color. Okay. So you're gonna want that to sit and dry for a little bit. You could go over with the second coat, but I probably would if your strokes aren't like nice and smooth. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go over, go over it with a second coat, but it's up to you. And then when you take your stencil off, it should give you an amazing design like this. It's so cute! I love it! Okay, while this is drying, I wanna show you guys also another cool DIY you can do on a ceramic pot with tiles! Okay, so you're gonna wanna take your tiles, just get some regular Elmer's glue, and, here, let me move 
paint so you guys can see a little bit better. Alright, so just take some Elmer's glue and put it on the back of the tile. And then you're going to want to go around the edges like this. So just like hold it into place, make sure, yes, it will stick, I promise it will stick. Maybe you just have to like hold it a little bit. And then you can go ahead and start the next one. And then put it right next to it so they're kind of like locked and snug together. And then for the base, you can use any color you want at the bottom. Make it look like super, super pretty. I think I'm going to go with like a purple for this. But I showed you guys how to paint the pot with like smooth strokes and everything. So I have one to fast forward, show you what I have already done for one of my amazing friends since it's summer. I made her a nice candle and I used like little river rocks and things like that. But you see how I did with the nice tiles and then the bottom, I painted it a nice color to make it pop. And number one thing, when you're doing ceramic pot um, painting, make sure to paint the bottom of the pot. Guys, you, got, you can't forget it. You can't leave it blank. That's, that's not cool. Alrighty. So, now that we have our amazing mosaic tile, or a little tile pot, I'll call it our tile pot. It looks so pretty. Um, so, so, now you guys can see this one. I'm going to go back to the stencil one and do our second coat. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I went over a, with the second coat of white paint over the stencil, and now I let it dry, so it should be easy to remove. You're just gonna wanna take it off just a little at a time. Like so. And then we're take it and hide you see these like little wires they have to help support the orchid you're gonna want to take the moss and wrap it around that and take some really nice twine and tie a bow and it gives like a really pretty bow so you're not seeing the ugly twine holding up the orchid it's like really pretty and then actually you can also take a nice barrette you know, like that you put in your hair, like a nice bread clip, and use that to support the top. And look at this, this makes such a cute gift. I love it. All right, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and go to my website, www.cookingwithcarlina.com. I'll see you guys there. Bye.